Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to tie hollow style bucktail so that you can tie something like this, a beast fly. Start with your bucktail. I already cut a little tuft off. Slide up towards the top. Try and pull out all that, all those short hairs from the bottom. Throw them out. Do it again. I like to comb it out, make sure that I'm not missing any that are tangled up in there. And we got ourselves a sparse little tuft of bucktail. That's going to be our starting piece. So now we start with a straight one. And just a forewarning, I do a lot of this tying just with my hands. Tie it in nice and tight, give it a little, little flare. Comb it out, see what it looks like when it's not all tangled up. It looks good. Tie it in nice and tight and cut off all the rest. Okay, so we got our first tie in. I'm going to show you the whole thing because it's not that important. We're talking about hollow ties. Alright, so here's our second little piece of bucktail. I'm just going to go a little bit behind there. I usually tie in the second one pretty close to the back. Alright, I put two loose wraps there. Now I'm going to take my thumbs, my index finger, I'm just going to kind of Squeeze it and push it all around the mono. Turn it over. Make sure it's looking good. And you can tie in some tight ones on the back side. Very tight. I'm going to keep that in there nice and secure. Comb it. So you see where the hair has lined up along the mono. And it looks like we have pretty even distribution. So. We're going to do our hollow method now. Alright, just make sure it's tied in nice and tight. Usually I like to glue that just a bit and then bring your thread all the way to the front there. Now you got your tube. Use like a piece, a tube from a pen or like this one came from a roll of dog poop bags and it works great. Slide it on there, try and, uh, doesn't need to go perfectly because you're going to rearrange all those hairs. Okay, so the idea of the pen tube is just push them all back kind of evenly and then once you get there, <clears throat> if you have tied in your bucktail nice and tight, you can grab onto it like this. Let's pull our thread forward first, keep it up in front of those and you come around it look for where the hairs haven't gotten and just mess around with them you could really strong arm these hairs into where you want them to go and then once you got it good make sure it's pulled back nice and tight pull back real hard squeeze up front there you're going to tie behind the hairs it's good to tie tight, but also leaves a good chance that you're going to Alright, so this one I'm not nervous about because it's the first one, you know, that could be, you know, as skinny as that pretty much, but I'm just going to make sure it's good. And then I always put some glue on. I use a crazy glue brush, as I do for most of my flies. Just a little dab of concrete. That way the threads will not unwrap. And your hollow tie won't come undone. And in, instead of using the crazy glue, you could probably use wax, and that'll you know that'll hold it pretty well. Um, okay, whatever. 
All right, so I lost the first tie. I don't care about that. That's not what this video is about. So there's our first hollow tie. Now I just like to go around, pull them all out, see where you know where I tie it a little bit tighter, and you can see that it's going coming off on like a sharp angle, and then like right here it's more obtuse, flares out more. So if you run into a problem like that, which you're going to on pretty much every tie, <laughs> you're sloppy like me. You just come around the bottom, the back side, and go over the top towards the front, try and even it out. That worked great. That's nice. Okay. Now glue that. And then you're going to be finished with that one. The first hollow tie. Boom. Alright, bring it up to where your next tie is going to be. I like to keep the ties all pretty equidistant, usually about half inch, quarter inch, right between that, like right there, that looks pretty good. So that's where my next tie is going to be. I'm just going to use the vise to hold it. Okay, tie-in number two coming up. Notice how I'm using the vise for tying very little. Just get around there twice. Pinch it both sides, flip it over, make sure that you're evenly dispersing the hairs around the mono. Tie in some tight ones, comb it out. You want to tie it in tight before you comb, otherwise your comb might rip out your hairs. You might lose some. And give it a turn, see how it looks. That looks good and even to me, so I'm going to come back on it. Put some real tight ties in on the back and then cut off the excess. Just give me one moment while I do that. Garbage scissors, I need new ones. Okay. Now, if you're crafty, you do that. Get some real fast spins. Alrighty, that's good. Now for the hollow, for, to make it hollow, I'm going to flip it back over, get into my wrapping rhythm. Wrapping, uh, you know, typically I like to wrap, what is that, clockwise, I guess. So that's where I'm going with it. Got my tube, tube time. Push it back, looking good. And you could, you could uh, glue that thread back here if you want. But for the purpose of saving time, I'm not going to. Look at that, that just bends back so beautifully. You can see, boom, that looks good. But it's not perfect, so get that around. Make sure all your hairs are got. You gotta pull that, pull that tube back. Make sure none are trapped inside. Grab onto it. Our hairs are tied in real tight in the back, so just do a couple thread wraps there, and then we're gonna push. Pull real hard until we know that we are right behind where our thread stopped on the bucktail. And that's it right there. Some time behind it. And what's cool about your hand is you turn it a bit as you do it, make sure you're going evenly all the way around. And then once I get like, like three layers or four layers high, I will take a little bit of glue, put it there, make sure I don't touch the bucktail. A tiny little dab, cement it in so that it doesn't unwrap from the base. And you could keep going a little bit. I'm used to it, so I'm not worried about tying too much over the bucktail. So you got a good feel for it. Then check it out, see where you're at, comb it out. See how this bucktail looks, see what your flare looks like. And look, you can see that is a cute, that is obtuse. So we're gonna make sure that a cute one is not wrapped over too much. And since you haven't done the second layer of glue, 
you could still you still have some uh, leeway to you know mess with these and pull them out and make them less tight. Okay, there. All right, so we still got a very obtuse part up here. Most of the rest is not acute anymore, but find the obtuse part, and we're gonna try and put a couple extra wraps up there. So wrap on the bottom goes in the back, wrap on the top comes over, diagonal, and just captures that one little part that we want to tame. Let me see how it looks now. Give it another. I just did one little wrap. Usually it's, you know, I take like four, five, six wraps to fix it, but that was actually a decent tie-in, so it is all pretty well spaced. So, that's good enough for me. I'm happy with it. I'm going to glue it. So if you don't glue it, your thread's probably going to come unwrapped. All this hard work you did to make a pretty hollow tie, it's going to come undone. Let's see, just spin it and get my thread up a little higher, up to the next tying spot. Boom, I don't. Okay, get some more bucktail, if I can find it. Yeah. Comb it out. Grab towards the top, pull out the Extras, all the little guys we don't want. Make sure there's no one trapped in there, which there always is. See that? Just comb out the top real quick. So, I use the comb a lot because see how straight up my hairs are right now? It's not like, you know, coming off the side or anything. It's all very tame, very straight. If you tie it in, backwards, nice and straight. Get the flip, have a look. Now I'm going to do my compressions. And that looks good to me. Tie it in. A couple tight ties, little comb, and that looks solid. So I'm going to do it few tight ties on the back side. Cut off the excess. You know, I get crazy with this, but I'm a little OCD, so I do get a bit crazy with it. Alright, let's wrap off those ends. Come right back up to the thread dam. Boom. Give it the flip. Got the tube. Pop, pop, pop. Wiggle it through. Push them back. Yeah, that looks awesome. I love doing that. That's my favorite part. Just pushing them back and you get like a nice, even. Sometimes, honestly, I like to like comb them as I'm pushing them back. Just make sure they go around nice and evenly. But yeah, this one's uh, being a little less tame, so they're all going on the one side. So, got them back far enough. I'm gonna use my fingers the rest of the way. Let's push them hard. Get my thread around the front. Okay. Push back nice and hard. Building your dam. Just make sure it's all good and even. Okay, it is. Good. Alright, build a little bit more of a dam and then glue it. If you don't glue it at the beginning, it's gonna all, and you keep tying, 
it's all just going to collapse and fall back and then your mound's going to end up over here. So, a little on the thread, a little on the mono too. Keep it from sliding. And then you can continue, so that way you have like nice glue wrapped thread. But don't go too crazy because you don't know how much flare you have. So, check it out. Pull all that hair out. Alright, acute, acute. That's more obtuse, so. And you can see it. The thread here is back. Thread there is a little bit tighter up front, so. I'm gonna come in, try and fix that. Okay, that looks like it might be good. We'll give it a little comb. Too pretty. It's not too ugly either. It's a little off right there. So let's just pull it a little more. Yeah, so it's a tiny bit off, so I want to come back on the bottom. Like that. Try one more. Another one. that down. That's alright. Good enough for me. So they don't ever really need to be perfect because they're just parts of a whole and they're all gonna move. So if they're kinda ugly and you don't have the perfect angles, don't worry because it's gonna end up looking great in the end. Once you wet it It'll collapse, the, the hairs will, you know, find their friends on the layer below. And then, comb it, you dry it, and then it's going to look like a freaking perfect specimen at the end. But, that's what we got now. You know, you can see the angles get a little bit more extreme as you start go up the mono. You can see it here, you know, you start with the first tie-in that's straight. Boom, 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 more and more flare all the way until the very end. And then, you know, in this I have some uh, marabou pommered in towards the head. But that's like the end result right there. And it's a freaking amazing looking fly. And looks amazing in the water too. So, good luck. <laughs>